The Palitoy Action Force German Stormtrooper was released as part of the first wave of figures in early summer of 1982. He was based on the original Action Man German Stormtrooper, and this was one of the 12 best-selling Action Man outfits. His accessories included a KAR-98 Mauser rifle in blue, two stick grenades and an, and an entrenching tool spade. The two stick grenades are very difficult to locate. They are very small and many have been lost over the years. They can be very expensive to get hold of as well. The figure mould of the German Stormtrooper had a moulded helmet with a chin strap. He has pockets on his left and right breasts. On the right breast of the German Stormtrooper, you can see a Phoenix insignia. He has a belt and webbing that goes over his front and back. In his front belt, he has some moulded stick grenades that are on his waist. On his lower back, he has a moulded case and a water bottle. There were different versions of the German Stormtrooper. Version 1 had a shield and phoenix insignia on the sides of the helmet. The shield was on the right and the phoenix was on the left. He also had a grey chin strap. Version 2 had no helmet insignias, and this is the one on the video, but also had the grey chin strap. Version 3 had no helmet insignias and had a black chin strap. Like all of the first series figures, the legs and arms move one way and the head also could turn. The feet had holes in it so figure stands could be placed in them or they could be put on vehicles with figure pegs. The mould of this figure formed the basis of the Series 2 Red Shadow figure as well as a Red Vulture. The Blue Mauser rifle also came in black in the second series and this came with the Z-Force Captain before it was replaced with the SLR rifle. He came on a card back inside a bubble on the back of the card, you can see 12 other figures advertised, as well as the mail order commander figure and three vehicles. You could collect five medals from all the figure car backs, post them off to Palitoy with some money for post, and then you'd get the commander figure sent back to you. If you look closely at the figures advertised on the back of the card, you'll see that they're not the exact figures that were sold. These were the original figure moulds that had not yet been made into the sold figures. I actually have a picture of the German Stormtrooper mould. This was made of metal before it was used to produce the figure in plastic. On the front of the card you can see the Action Force and Action Man logos. The German Stormtrooper is one of the harder figures to actually get complete and that's due to the small parts. The grenades are particularly small, the spade is also quite small as well. Version 1 with the insignias on the helmet is quite sought after and can be difficult to get. I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope it helps with your collecting. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please um, like and subscribe and check out my other Action Force videos that I've put together. We have an Instagram account called Lexi's Toy Loft 12. We have a Facebook page, Lexi's Toy Loft, and also we have an eBay shop, Lexi's Toy Loft. Thanks again. I'm going to now leave you with some extra pictures of the figure and the accessories.